What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim. Going to be playing my favorite deck on PTCGO today because I, just to be honest, am stressed, I'm moving, I'm very busy, uh, but there are a lot of very fun, exciting things kind of on the horizon here for Tricky Jim, uh, which I am going to be uh, revealing down the road, but uh, I am moving. So the studio is going to be moving as well. Not exactly sure where we're going to end up. Could end up in a different apartment could end up in the basement at full grip games uh we'll see i don't know so we're gonna be moving here i am moving out of my apartment so uh, stoked on that but with that you know obviously comes some irregular irregular irregularities is the word i'm looking for this week in my upload schedule obviously i just canceled my internet subscription so this is actually like uh, my internet's donezo uh you know and this is all just like it's kind of the process of moving. So uh, bear with me, please be patient as I move and promise you guys that we are going to be getting, you know, obviously content is uh, not going anywhere. We're just, uh, you know, uh, pardon the dust while we move here while I get things done. This is a pretty dope opening hand, not gonna lie. I don't know what kind of deck my opponent is playing, but I think here that we probably just go for like, uh, we go for Vika Volt, uh, we just, yeah, we go for a well, Grubbin, turn one Grubbin. We Ultra Ball away these and get a turn one Grubbin. And then we go get Lele. Oh, I prize two. Uh, and then we go Lele for Stevens, right? Let's go. No, why is there no Stevens? Uh, that's kind of sad. But I think, ugh. So we can't just Lele for Stevens. That's fine. We'll Lele for Lily. But Stevens uh, Resolve is what I wanted there. So we'll do that. And then we could go here. We can Mysterious Treasure. Lily's not bad. Honestly, I should get what I need off of Lily. So let's just go there. And then we'll attach the energy to Lugia. Lily for seven is still not a bad start to the game. So definitely don't mind that at all. We'll pick the... Pick the expensive Lily. We'll go expensive Lily for turn one here, and let's go. All right, draw seven cards, see what we get. We got a Volkner for next turn, got some Rays. But to be honest, I have no idea what kind of deck my opponent is playing, so we're going to hold off on all of that and just to see what they've got. Uh, obviously, you know, turn one Judge, be a little salty about that. Turn one, oh, they've got Bridget. Am I playing expanded format? I must be playing expanded format. No, why did I play expanded format? All right, guys, rock with me here. We're gonna play our standard Vika Ray deck in an expanded game and see how that goes. Then I'm going to switch to standard, and we're going to play a standard game. So we are. I still think I can win this. Like, we should be, we're going to be golden. We're going to be Gucci. We're fine. All right. So let's uh, let's start off with a good old Volkner here and get ourselves that guy into play. And then I don't need any other energies or anything like that. So let's just rare candy, yeah, get that guy into play there. Then I think that we just don't want to mill, right? We got one, two, three, four in the discard already, so... Let's just do that. No mill, none. Um, let's just strong charge two energies onto the um, Lugia there. And then we're going to throw an energy onto my Rayquaza as well. And we're just going to Argent Wings, you know, smack this thing for a good old 120 damage. See if they can't get themselves, you know, see if they can't get me out of that hand. So. That is f hilarious. I actually I just got done filming an expanded video. So I was just like, oh yeah, Vicare, this is great. I should be totally fine. But yeah, nope, there's Bridget's out here and there's also teammates and things like that and versus seekers and <laughs> lots of very, uh, very frightening decks, uh, frightening cards for our very standard deck to overcome. So we uh, we shall see if we can uh, we can get there with our shining Lugia. I'm already liking what I see though, to be honest. Like these uh, these these Garvinors ain't gonna be doing nothing to my Rayquazas with only like four items in the discard pile. That Bonnet GX is gonna do like nothing to me. I just don't care. Like I'm gonna be totally fine to be honest, and I think that I should have no problem with winning this game. Even next turn, I just can Guzma and knock out a Lele or something. Like, we're just good to go. And I did my other video of like, 
I actually did a video with expanded uh, Rayquaza, right? And was playing without Vikavolt, and I felt like the deck was just worse, right? I felt like it was way worse, which is totally hilarious because, uh, you know, Vikavolt obviously makes it a little less consistent in some ways, but also makes the deck just like way more explosive in other ways. And you just have like a huge like top end as far as like uh, your damage output and stuff goes. So I actually think that I kind of like the deck with Vikavolt in it. It's definitely cool in some ways. I feel like here we may just go, they're gonna, oh, they're gonna get rid of their damaged Lele. Boo. I'm not a, you know, not a big fan of that play, but it's all good. Not a big fan, you know, from my personal standpoint, you know, because I wanted to knock it out, but this is fine. Let's just, uh, let's just strong charge. Yolden strong charge. We're going to throw two energies onto this man here, and then we're just going to Guzma, I think. So we're just going to bring up like that thing. Uh, and just knock it out. Let's just get him out of here. I don't have any more items in the discard pile. Still rocking four, so we should be safe. I think I just attach an energy to my uh, uh, Lele or Vika Volt. Uh, I could attach an energy to my Vika Volt. Then it's like a live attacker. I like that. Parallels down, so we ain't going anywhere anytime soon, uh, but that's fine. We're just going to drag and break, knock this thing out. We've just got a ton of energy in play at this point, and it's hilarious. Like, my opponent's deck is a very good expanded deck. I mean, like, you know, Garbodor decks, very good and expanded, but what's hilarious is that my deck is just not built for expanded at all. So I have, like, not a lot of items. I'm not playing versus Seeker. So, like, their Garbodors are just going to be worse, just way worse <laughs> against me. And I'm just sitting here chilling, man. I don't you know we're we're fine we've got everything that we need here to do tons of damage they can teammates you know they've got field blower in their deck doesn't matter i don't really play any tool cards in this list either we don't even have floatstone bro we're just playing hard copies of switch <laughs> like, this is hilarious and we're just gonna be totally totally fine totally fine that is so funny and what i think is uh you know, what I think is happening is that in some regards, Expanded is just more of like kind of a meta call than anything. Uh, why in the world does this thing have two rainbows on it? Can someone, oh, because he wants to move the damage somewhere, I guess. Uh, I just don't really get it. Yeah, okay. But why not the Why not the second rainbow on this Trubbish? I don't really get that. So that's, a, that's an interesting maneuver there. But, uh, oh, because this one's going to become a Garbotoxin. Oh, now we could be in some real trouble, guys. See, I forgot about that. But that's fine. They can't really move the damage so long as that's there. So that's, uh, that's A-OK. -okay. Uh, and then I think, like, uh, we really want to bench this thing this turn. But that's fine. I've got the uh, you know energy in my hand. So if they knock, if they attack with that Garbodor, like I can just knock it out. So I think that we just continue attaching here, and like we might actually be okay. So let's just uh, drag and break this thing for knockout. I don't Stevens resolve. That's for sure. I don't energy recycler yet. Yep. Let's just drag and break. And if they bring that up, I mean, they're going to need something else. I'm going down to two prizes remaining. Like I could potentially take the game here with the Lugia. Uh, you know, they have to make some plays happen. They cannot just afford to just take out my Rayquaza and lose that lose this guy. Assuming that this even becomes a trash Lance Garbodor, they need more than that. Uh, so let's see what they got. They got Rescue Stretcher, uh, but that's not going to do them a lot of good right now. Their Leles are shut off because of their own Garbodor, so they're throwing it all back into the deck. They need like a Cynthia or something. Uh, what do they have in the discard pile? They have Sycamore. They need to go for Sycamore. They need to draw like more than you know nothing they need to draw some cards here so they had a pretty stacked hand there with back-to-back -back versus seekers which is pretty good you know we're definitely not big fans of this uh garbador here <laughs> so like that is a uh, not good for our very ability reliant standard deck that has not had to worry about trash lance garbador in a long time and see i disagree i think with this line of play that they've been taking with the back-to-back -back teammates i think that they are going to pigeonhole themselves into a situation oh no they didn't take the team i thought i saw them take the, the teammates and actually i think that they did take the teammates and then decided to uh, yeah, I was going to say, I don't agree with that play at all because they need to set up like 
more than one attacker to have a chance this game or else they are going to just lose, right? So they need to get something else going on here. I feel like, let's see, what in the world do we do? We need to like Steven's resolve. You know, we need to knock this thing out with Shining Lugia. And then we're going to need to like, the turn after that, if my Shining Lugia goes down, then we need to like, start getting creative is like how are we going to take our last prize i think we just need to manually attach to the vehicle and take something out but with only the shove it in play i'm not actually uh i guess they do enough they could they do 70 how many they battle compressor so they got one two three four five six seven yes they have seven in the discard pile they can definitely knock out my lugia Let's see, we need a Guzma like this turn to knock out this guy with my Lugia. That would be just really, really good. Um, but we don't have it. So I think we just need to go in here and just hope that, yep, hope things eventually work out. Uh, I think we probably just start manually attaching to the Ray. This feels right. Yeah, so let's do that. That's fine. Um, and we're gonna attach here. That actually feels better than the Vika Volt, I think. And then let's just go, and I don't really wanna play any more items, but let's see, the Energy Recycler, it doesn't really matter. I think next turn we're just going to Steven's Resolve. Though it would be a big deal for me to top deck an Energy. So I think we're going to Energy Recycler first. So we're gonna do that, just because top decking an Energy here would be huge because then it, it just puts me on like one less turn I need to win the game. I needed two energy attachments and a Guzma. Steven Resolve is gonna help me get there unless my opponent ends me. So let's just uh, arrow force here, take this knockout. Then my opponent, you know, they don't necessarily win. Uh, they like, I mean, they have a lot more prizes left to take. And we have a Cynthia there, so that actually helps as well. Um, and I could, you know, the Cynthia play could be better. But with only two Guzma left in the deck, we're going to need, we need two energy and a Guzma. So we know the exact two cards that we would need to get off of Steven's Resolve. So, and how much damage are they doing? They're doing one, two, three, four, five. So they're only doing a hundred damage with Trash Lanch. Oh, and they're not even getting Trash Lanch out. And they can't Shady Move anything away. So they do have all of this uh, going on. They look like they're kind of good to go. Battle Compressor with Bonnet, it's kind of a cute idea, I guess. You could just pitch all your supporters and then you play the Versus Seeker engine and then the idea is that you're just doing like a decent amount of damage there with Bonnet. You can, you know, Tomb Hunt GX, you know, pretty cool. I don't like that the deck is generally weak to, oh, wow, I was going to say, weak to Zorark, right? But they've got Terrakian, Buzzwool, they've got Counter Energies in here. They're playing N, uh, they're going to end me to one. Oh, classic situation. Uh, and we just might just be stuck here. And this is what it looks like. I wish I had a grass energy on my Rayquaza GX, but we just don't. So we need a uh, we need a grass energy bad here, or else uh, we're just going to be in a world of pain. Opponent's going down to three prizes. I think we put up the. I think the Lele feels better. If I top deck a grass. I'm gonna be super salty. So. Uh, no, we've got another lightning, so I think we just, yup, we're just going to wait there. Uh, my opponent's going to be able to hit into me with Bonnet, and we kind of just get ourselves into this really grindy situation here where <laughs> we just need to top deck out of an end of one. Oh my gosh, I'm not even playing any end in this deck. I am so much at a disadvantage. Oh, goodness. Forgot to switch to standard before we started. I can't believe it, but... I can't believe it. I I don't know who I'm kidding. I, I definitely can believe it. So this is just a very uh, like me thing to do, but it's fine. This is all fun. You know, we're seeing we're seeing what can the what can the Ray deck do. Uh, you know, what can the Ray V Cabal deck do in expanded format? My opponent rescue stretchers and things back in, but uh, did not get anything else on the bench. Pretty good top deck for me. I think we just need to attach. And pass 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 wouldn't be a knockout. Uh, if I top deck a Guzma, I could win. But we are in a really grinder spot here. We're in a really big grinder just because we need, like, uh, 
We need Guzma. Uh, if I go up in Tempest, though, my opponent can't one-hit KO me. So I could Tempest into, like, Energy Guzma, because that's what I need to, like, retreat a Lele. I need, like, Energy Lele Guzma or something, you know, or Switch Guzma, uh, something like that just to win game. So I think I just go up in Tempest. I hope that they can't win or end me. They probably can end me. Who am I kidding? But at this point, they do have, they have, like, Three N, oh, one N in the discard pile, and their versus seeker. So unless they, if they have their fourth versus seeker, then I'm definitely getting end again, end again out of this tempest, which is just bad. I think I probably just go up and smack this Banette though. If I go up and I smack the Banette, oh, they're gonna Guzma. Oh, what do they got going on here? Are they taking a knockout? Did they get enough? They can't take a knockout. They're just trying to stick me. Okay, that's fair. That's a good play. They just don't want me to Tempest, right? So now we just need Guzma. <laughs> oh, we did it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my God. My opponent oh, was playing a way better deck than mine, but it didn't matter. <laughs> Oh, you know what, guys? Actually, I got I got uh, Natalie's making dinner, so I got to get to dinner. But um, hopefully, you all enjoyed the takedown of the Zorark Banette deck in expanded format with my very standard Vicaray list that you all have seen. I'll make sure to not ignore this uh, little tab here. Let's see, Natalie. Yep, Natalie's texting me that dinner's ready. So, uh, yes, uh, I will make sure not to ignore that little tab again and make sure that uh, yeah we do things correctly next time. But uh, for today, anyway. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed that little mix and mash. And uh, like I said, we'll be getting into more expanded content down the line. But I'd like to do like a healthy mix this year of both standard and expanded. Anyways, let me know. What do you guys want to see in the comments below? Make sure to like the video, sub the channel, ring that bell. And of course, check out the Etsy store and the Patreon stuff in the description below. Peace.